Hello, Lola's. So, I am here with Bella, Bella, Bella. And I am going to give her a bottle. Then I'm going to get her in a dry diaper and get her changed. All in one video, I hope. But we will see. So, basically, guys, I am just so tired of my shenanigans. You know... I keep saying that I want a collection of babies that I will keep and hold on to because for me, I feel like collecting is about, for me, I want to be the type of collector that can have babies that I've had for years and, you know, there's not a, you know, where that, you know, oh, you look back and you're like, dang, I used to have so-and-so or I used to have so-and-so. I want to be able to have the oldest baby type thing. Like, I don't necessarily, you know, a lot of people think, oh, it's about having the newest baby. This and I want to be able to look back on my collection and say, okay, I remember when I got this one. I remember when I got that one. Also, I realized something that I think might be my problem because I've noticed a pattern with me. I like to collect rare, rare finds or unique babies. Um, me and another collector was um, kind of chatting about this. And um, I like the limited editions and the, you know, the ones that, okay, so now like say for instance with the Reborns, a lot of the sculptors are doing open editions and then some limited editions. So it's like one trillion of those babies. I will still collect those babies if I really love the sculpt. Don't get me wrong. But I am more likely to sell that one down the road than I am one that I know that I'm not going to be able to get my hands on later. Or um, I know that not many people have. Good Lord, she drank this so fast. Lord, have mercy. Um, yeah, so I'm more likely to hold on to those babies than, than the ones that, you know, you see all the time type thing. Um, let's take Saskia for a minute, for an example. Everybody has a Saskia, but the thing that holds me with my Saskia is because she was very uniquely painted by her artist. Um, her artist was Natalie Vitrova, and that lady put some skills on that doll. Like, she... Is not over the top she don't have all these veins popping out everywhere she don't have all this heavy modeling but she looks hella real like you see that baby she looks straight up like a real baby like she looked like the babies that I see the ladies pushing in the Walmart cart type thing so um for me I feel like you know, I will hold on to her more. Did you dribble? Because I ain't never seen her dribble before. Oh, sorry. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, I just, you know, I've been giving it a lot of thought because one, when you, when you start, <laughs> when you start getting on the broke side, <laughs> Your mind start thinking in all types of different directions like, okay, now, all right, now, so what can I collect with this kind of coins over here? Because I don't have this much money anymore. Or you start thinking like, dang, I spent that for that dog? Mm, it ain't that cute. Let me sell that one. Or, wow, you know. Now, it's not to say that I'm not going to get babies and be like, yeah, I'll keep it for a while. I really like this one. And then, boom. My thing is, I like to see if the newness wear off. If the newness don't wear off with the baby, to me, that's a keeper. Um, another thing is, like, I won't lie, I'll be honest. Um, I have let go of, of, of babies that I actually really, really liked. And I still like them, even when I sold them. was very connected with them, but the silliness in me just didn't want to have the same doll as everybody else and I was just like bye baby 
type thing or it's kind of like why I kind of have like a private collection sometime because I don't mind having the same sculpt but when everybody baby has got to be painted exactly like yours that's a problem I won't lie I like uniqueness I like rareness I don't want to flip on every channel and everybody got my baby on their channel type thing so that's why I have private babies that I'll never show because I like to keep those babies to myself and a lot of times like if I do a custom that baby was custom done for me to be special and unique to me that's the thing about a custom and that's why some people just absolutely feel like they just have to have a custom because oh my god her diaper is like so super warm like it's so crazy like she's really peed um but that's just the thing um some some people want customs because they want to be able to customize the doll. Like, for instance, you know, some of you guys may have noticed a lot of my dolls that I collect have a birthmark somewhere. And it's because, and usually on the leg, and it's simply because my, um, it's simply because my, uh, kids and my me, my kids and my ex-husband all have birthmarks on our leg. Or at least we did. I don't know now that they're grown. Child, I need to be like, come over here and let me see y'all leg. <laughs> and they like 23, 22. You know, well, my baby will be 22 on the 10th. But anyway, nevertheless, they, they are up there in age now. And it's like, I don't know if they still have their birthmarks. But they all had birthmarks on their legs, which was crazy. And then um, their father did and I did too weird huh but um so a lot of times i'll be like oh you know give a birthmark and get get this here comes gabby the little small ranger way under like what her and my son i think is 13 years apart she has on her heel a birthmark so now i've been kind of putting that on some of my reborns too if they're dark skinned they have the they have the the um if they're dark skin, they have the, the the mole on the bottom of their foot. And she kind of reminds me too while I'm painting. She's like, Mommy, did you put the birthmark on their foot? It's hard to dress her this way, but I'm going to try. I'm used to dressing. Oh my gosh, little girl. You have wet, wet, wet. <laughs> it's so funny. Man, and Claire, Claire off the chain with her sculpting. Like, this is this is the thing like you know it's not a, a perversion or anything like that but when you're changing these babies and you look down at them and they look so real even you know in their diaper area and it's like to me that's just like the realism the realism but yeah i just i i just wish that it was more you know, additions used to be smaller back in the day. Now, they're not. And I get it. The artists have to make money. So, I try, you know, I try not to complain about that or speak against that because, you know, these, these people got to eat too. But for me, my search, especially when it comes to something like silicone where I got to spend a whole lot of money, I'm, I'm looking for something rare. Now... Here's a, a cute way that I look at it with the kids. Some may say, oh, well, our kit is not rare and it's not unique and it's nothing special about it. But yeah, it kind of is. Because with the kids, like say for instance, now if it's a kit edition of like 30 and up, yeah, no. 20 and up even. I don't want no parts of that edition. But if it's like 15 here and 15 there, you know, like... The Tate and the Sage, they may share a body together, but they have different faces. So to me, that's different babies. So that's 15 of this one, 15 of that one. 15 is kind of large when you, if you were doing a regular edition, but for a kit edition, that's still small. That means it's only 15 in the whole world. I can get down with that. You know what I mean? 
I, I can I can I can handle that not only that the part where it comes in to be rare is that for me unless Claire paints another one of the tape she's the only one painted by Claire okay now some of you guys oh here she go with that bragging nope let me finish um if you get a baby that's painted by boom boom nursery I don't know if that exists but I'm just saying um and boom boom only to paint one of those or two of those guess what you got the only one that's painted by boom boom nursery you got the only one of two or the only one of three of boom boom nursery or they paint them different colors you know she might have painted one biracial one aa and one caucasian it still like gives you that you know special baby because i mean I don't know, but I guess some collectors really don't care. They just want dolls, etc., etc., and that's fine. But that's not the way I collect. So, you know, respect my hustle, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so now I'm realizing this, and I'm like, okay. So this is probably why I sell a lot of my babies. And you know what, guys? I have really, really like because I was like, oh, you know, I love te the texture. Like, I really love the texture different styles of textures and because she was textured a little bit different from puck and all them i have really really like downplayed her painting she has a lot of detail she's freaking amazing um she has a, a little she was kind of a little on the there we go but yeah so that's that's what you know I'm just tired of chasing and you know um, selling I'm not tired well I'm not gonna say that scratch scratch that I'm not tired of chasing I'm tired of selling I'm tired of selling babies out of my collections to bring home another baby I'm at the point now where if I can't, you know, if I can't um, save up, do layaway, you know, twerk for it, whatever I got to do, work for it over time um, to bring another baby in, in my collection, I really don't want to have to sell. And I, when I say that, please understand that I'm first a silicone collector reborn to collect the second you know and when i say that i i'm really strictly really referring to my silicone babies um i will sell the reborn real quick and hence why because nowadays there's no limit on the the kit so i feel like i can always replace it if i wanted to if i miss it i can paint it again or i could buy it from somebody else because the kits are like there's nothing special about the kits anymore, really, other than the sculpt itself. There's no, you know, you know, back in the day, you know, the, the kits, you know, people was chasing down particular kits and people were able to flip kits, you know, <laughs> imagine that. They were able to, you know, I see some, like, I seen one on um, Doll Fan that I've been looking for, a Larry by Natalie Blick. Well, they're asking $250 for it blank but that's because um that kit is rare like you it's it's a limited true limited edition kit and those i mean don't get me wrong you know people like to say oh well you know people shouldn't overcharge on those kits i i'll be honest when it comes to stuff like that i feel like they're well within their right because honestly, I've considered paying for that kit. Because that kit, you can't find anywhere. So why not? You see what I'm saying? Like, why not? Um, But I don't want to pay over the price when I can get it somewhere else for cheaper type thing. But a, a true limited edition kit, yeah. Like, a Blick kit, maybe even the Everlays, stuff like that. Oh, people was like mad about Everlay boy they they was riding they was giving Laura Lee Eagles hell about that kit when she she limited that kit back in the day 
So it's like, and I get that too. That's why the sculptors, like, they can't win. Like, people get mad when it's not enough. And then people get mad when it's too many, you know. So what they do, you know, what, what are they supposed to do? So I don't judge them when it comes down to that. But as far as me with keeping a baby in my collection, you know, forever baby, so to speak, I don't, I don't know. I just, I, I think I'm, I'm more likely to hold on to something that's, that's a rare find than, uh, it's a zero to three month, but this is zero to three month, but it's, she, you know what? Bella's going to be short and fat when she grow up. <laughs> Sorry. She she is. She's going to be short and fat. Or short and, and thick. How about that? Or chubby. Or stocky. She's not. Or she, maybe she'll just be short. Maybe her baby fat will go away. But the way she got this lisp and sucks her tongue. And I don't know. She just. She looks like she's going to have a little bit of weight to her. But she's. She's. She's on the short side. Even though she's. 20 something inches long she still looks kind of short when you go to dress in her and stuff like that but that's her and she's all together anyway i'm gonna go let you guys go and you know tell me what you think about like uh limited edition kits versus open edition babies and like what you know i guess it's more so like what is the reason that make you keep selling like we know what it is that make you keep buying but what makes you keep selling them that's the thing like what makes you keep selling your dolls if you're a person that sells your dolls because some of some collectors out here i have so much admiration for you guys they get a baby that's it that baby ain't going nowhere i be looking at miss patricia channel and she'll pop up a baby from four four or five years ago and i'm like she still got that baby like and it's like hey you know but me, check me in a year. One of these babies will probably be will probably be gone, you know, type thing. That's how it's been with me. So Puck's been here over a year now. So I think he's gonna stay. But you know, it's 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 crazy. Anyway, we'll talk later.